Building complex models in SketchUp can take hours. Walls, railings, fences, and stairs, all done piece by piece. But what if I told you there's a way to do all of that in just a few clicks? In this video, I'm going to show you how to master profile builder in SketchUp, step by step, whether you're. Welcome to CAD Show on this channel. I share tutorials, tips, and tools that make your design workflow faster and smarter. Today's video is a complete beginner's guide to profile builder in SketchUp. Here's what we will cover. How to install and set up profile builder. The basics of assemblies and profiles. Create walls, railings, fences, and more. And finally, pro tips that will take your SketchUp skills to the next level. So, let's get started. The first step is installation. Profile Builder is a premium SketchUp extension, and you can download it from the official website. Once installed, you'll notice a new toolbar with several icons, assemblies, profiles, and editing tools. This toolbar is where the magic happens. Think of it as a library of smart building components that you can edit, stretch, and customize instantly. Creating a simple wall assembly. Let's start simple. I'll select the assembly tool and draw a straight line. Instantly, Profile Builder generates a wall along that path. Unlike traditional modeling, this wall isn't just geometry, it's parametric. That means I can change the height, thickness, and materials with just a few clicks. If I double-click on the assembly, I can edit the settings, maybe change the wall thickness, or switch materials to brick. Notice how the entire wall updates automatically. This is what makes Profile Builder powerful. It's not just drawing, it's smart modeling. Part 3. Adding Openings Now let's add windows and doors. With Profile Builder, I can cut precise openings directly into assemblies. Instead of manually pushing and pulling every opening, the tool creates clean, editable cuts instantly. This saves hours of time on architectural projects. Part 4. Railings, Fences, and Stairs Next, let's build something a little more complex a railing. I'll draw a path along this balcony, and instantly, Profile Builder generates a complete railing with posts, balusters, and handrails. The best part? Every part of the railing is customizable. I can change the spacing of the posts, the thickness of the rail, or even swap the style completely. This also works beautifully for fences. Just draw the path, and you've got a parametric fence ready to go. And yes, you can even create stairs using assemblies. Imagine building accurate stairs in seconds instead of manually modeling each step. That's the power of Profile Builder. Part 5. Advanced Features Profile Builder also comes with advanced tools like sub-assembly spans and smart profiles. These allow you to create even more detailed assemblies like custom furniture, steel structures, or decorative trims. For example, with sub-assembly, I can create a railing that includes both glass panels and metal posts. With spans, I can repeat components automatically over long distances perfect for bridges, beams, or trusses. These features give you incredible flexibility and speed. Profile Builder also comes with advanced tools like sub-assembly spans and smart profiles. These allow you to create even more detailed assemblies like custom furniture, steel structures, or decorative trims. Part 6. Pro Tips and Workflow Hacks Use shortcuts, assign hotkeys to profile builder tools to speed up your workflow. Save your assemblies if you create a custom wall or railing, save it as a preset. You'll be able to use it in any project instantly. 
And that's it. You've just learned how to use Profile Builder in SketchUp to create walls, railings, fences, stairs, and more all in just a few clicks. If you found this tutorial helpful, don't forget to like this video, subscribe to CAD Show, and hit the bell icon so you never miss future tutorial.